This is Mr. that means when Elizabeth and Slater when they quarreled each other Elizabeth by the moment with an annoyed with an angry tone she told she I will never set my foot in your house again so it was repeated this sentence the sentence that was used by Elizabeth 
the sentence was exactly repeated so this is so that is why this sentence has to be so what is this is a, this sentence she said like this see she would never set foot in your house again this is nothing but indirect speech this is so direct speech sentence has been repeated so this is indirect sentence so that is what we have to understand in the speaker prospect so it's not a, a literal sentence prospect to in the speaker's prospect to we need to understand next to see there mm, next when it comes to next when it comes to so slatter solution she will come fast enough after her share of what our fathers left you know how hard she can be when she likes where she gets it from i can't tell then slatter has explained to henry so the hardness you know if she likes something in what way she would like to get and she would not she would uh, not let others get the same thing as she likes it so this is about the conversation part between the victoria slatter henry and what were this now questions were asked what type of girl was victoria so regarding victoria it was given see the precocious girl precocious girl mean nothing but by birth Uh, talented right they are coming to talk about poor grandpa affairs what does affairs mean affairs mean here <clears throat> affairs what does affairs mean here so they are coming to talk about poor pa grandpa affairs so affairs in the sense here what did grandpa do so far and what did grandpa collect what did grandpa gather what did grandpa earn so regarding all these things so they are coming it's not for the sake of henry visiting of henry and victoria slatter but they are coming for the purpose of to talk about these affairs next the third one see the dash here for ages the meaning of the phrase for ages for ages what is the meaning of the phrase for ages for ages means for a long time so here uh, b is the correct answer so we need to go ahead with b so for long time right so b is the correct answer here <clears throat> and uh, so dash never set foot the meaning for the phase of set foot set foot set foot means nothing but uh enter into it is the meaning of enter into that the, the next the telegram was sent by henry slater emilia slater able merry weather actually it was sent by henry slater so this is about the five, first five questions answer and next when it comes to next part see the <coughs> roman number 2 Mr Abel Merriweather went out to ho- went out of home he reached ring verbal right possible conversation Mr uh, between Mr Abel and Mr Mr John Sherrick before their marriage you can include the behavior of daughters of Mr Abel so we need to write uh, here first we need to understand who is Mr John Sherrick John Sherrick is a, a widow and who is going to married by Mistress, uh, Mr. Abel Merriweather, after he got fed up by his daughter's behavior. Now, what kind of conversation would be taken? So, if you have a conversation with John Sherrick, you will have a conversation with John Sherrick. You will have a conversation with John Sherrick. You will have a conversation with John Sherrick. Abel Merriweather is a daughter's behavior. You will have a conversation with John Sherrick. సో ఏ విధంగా వాళ్ళ ఇద్దరి మధ్య కాన్వర్జేషన్ జరిగి ఉండొచ్చు సో ఇన్ వాట్ వేర్ ద కాన్వర్జేషన్ వుడ్ బి టేకెన్ వెన్ ఏబుల్ మెర్రీ వెదర్ అండర్స్టూడ్ అబౌట్ హిస్ డాటర్స్ బిహేవియర్ అండ్ ఆల్ థింగ్స్ సో వీ నీడ్ టు రైట్ ఎ కాన్వర్జేషన్ సో ఇక్కడ మనం ఒక వాళ్ళ ఇద్దరి మధ్య జరిగినటువంటి సంభాషణని రాయాలి అండ్ ఆర్ రైట్ ఎ డైరీ ఎంట్రీ ఆఫ్ విక్టోరియా ఆన్ ద డే మిస్టర్ ఏబుల్ మెర్రీ ఏబుల్ వెంట్ అవుట్ see write the diary entry of victoria on the day mr abel went out so mr abel merry weather uh, he understood all the things and he understood what stories were cooked up
రూల్ చెప్పేటప్పుడు చెప్పాం సెకండ్ ఫామ్ ఉంటే దాన్ని వజార్ వర్ ప్లస్ వి త్రీగా మార్చాలి కాబట్టి కోహ్లీ బౌల్డ్ అనేది కోహ్లీ వాజ్ బౌల్డ్గా మార్చాలి కోహ్లీ వాజ్ బౌల్డ్ ఇన్ ద టీ ట్వంటీ మ్యాచ్ బై భూమ్రా ఆర్ కోహ్లీ వాజ్ బౌల్డ్ బై భూమ్రా ఇన్ ద టీ ట్వంటీ మ్యాచ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఆన్సర్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వే బీ కెన్ ఆన్సర్ ఇట్ నెక్స్ట్ సింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ థింగ్ సీ దెన్ అండ్ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఈజ్ పుటింగ్ ఎ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వెయిట్ అడ్వైజ్ హిమ్ to walk every day advice we need to give advice we need to give advice so in the in the advice part we can use had better had had better if we use had better we should not use to i told many times you had better see you had better uh, walk you had better walk every day if you write like this you had better walk every day this is a suggestion so in this way we can suggest it and write a polite form give me your notebook so for this how can we answer for this question directly we can say please give me your notes if you don't mind would you like to uh, uh would you don't mind give me can you give me may i take your book like this we can frame it singulars and plurals but whereas these are uh, irregular irregular plural forms actually we know that a plural form means which is generally added with s r e s r i e s so we have read we have learned when we learned about the spelling rules but whereas these ones so these crises syllabus thesis fungus crises syllabi thesis fungi so these all words seems equal but which one is the singular which one is the plural we can't understand because these words have some exceptional rules so if we understand them easily we can go ahead so first i would like to tell these words under the singulars and plurals and uh, after completion of this once we uh, we have in the textbook part uh, i think in the page number uh, it is all about uh, from 50 to 53 so there is a paper uh, regarding this irregular plural forms under the vocabulary part or even i would like to tell you that say first one see let me tell you and here uh, the first word see cry crisis so crisis 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 is the plural so here the first word is here the first word here it is plural okay right mm, so the first one is plural so first i will circle the plural words as well as syllabus also plural it is also syllables also plural and thesis thesis also this is also plural word and uh, next one is it was given fungus fungus actually it's plural fungus is singular fungi this is plural fungi is the plural and next when it comes to next word what is this syllabus see syllabi see it was given syllabi actually syllabi is the singular but syllabus was not given so if we write these four words the rest of words fungus crisis syllabi these is these are singulars so find out the wrongly spelt word under the next in the uh, in the roman number 5 second part find out the wrongly spelt word and correct it masculine substantial triumph majority so we need to write under the correct word here so in this way we can answer the singulars and plurals part so regarding this i would like to tell you something additionally
have good idea about these words it will be helpful to us so crisis 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 is a plural word actually we we were asked to write its plural word whether it is a greek origin or latin origin whether it is a greek origin or latin origin actually it is uh, it is latin origin but i wrote wrong here it's a latin origin is uh, you need not to consider here this one even i'm going to strike here all right so yet yeah, i will strike here. all right and the next one so syllabus is the plural so even the given form only plural form so that is why i did not write it's a plural form but it is singular it was see i wrote beside of it syllabi and the next one so we, see these two words are quite different see crisis thesis crisis thesis so actually crisis is a singular and crisis is a plural but when it comes to thesis thesis is a thesis it's a singular thesis is a singular thesis is a plural so it is a latin origin and the fungus it's singular its plural form is fungi and it is also latin origin so datum data is the plural it is latin origin so diagnosis diagnosis so both the words are same both singulars and plurals so in this case uh, both singulars and plural both are equal but it is greek origin and next one phenomenon phenomena phenomena we use phenomena natural phenomena natural phenomena it's not singular phenomena it's a plural and phenomenon is a singular but it is greek origin right next when it comes to next part see the uh, next species animal species plant species when we uh, read about flora and fauna you would have studied so both the species and species both singulars and plural are same but it is latin origin and next one eratum eratum so both words are same both the singulars and plural words are same like a fish even fish also both singular and plural fish is the same you should not say fishes but we have some exceptional rules if we learned all those things we can go ahead with the spotless or uh, without error we can go ahead so like this right so i ho- i hope you are going through all the slip tests and i'm telling you you have to go through these all slip tests and uh, share with your friends and watch them again and again to get good marks for in our in our in your upcoming examination hope you are learning and wishing happy learning signing off mr behra